Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, today I'm very excited to uh, begin a series of reviews for a company based in Texas, Houston, Texas that is, and the name of the company is Briggs True Texas Sauces and Seasonings, and their, their saying is, get you some. Now these were sent to me from the owner, Michael Briggs. Now he has been uh, making uh, sauces and seasonings for many, many years now, sharing with family and friends. But he decided in uh, January of 2014 to introduce Briggs True Texas Sauces and Seasonings as the newest and most innovative zesty and fiery Texas sauces and seasonings being made in Texas. Now he does have a line of three as you can see right there. He's got a lineup of three different sauces. Uh, the uh, Houston Hot Sauce which is the one I'm going to be reviewing today starting off with this one. He's also got a mustard sauce, and he also has a jalapeno sauce. He's got a line of three different seasonings, uh, the Texas seasoning and rub, the um, Cajun seasoning and rub, and the chili mix and seasoning. So very excited about that. Um, this is really some first-class marketing. I just have to notice, note that. Uh, really a, a lot of attention to detail. Their marketing campaign is just awesome. Texas is the only nation in the state. Get you some uh, true flavor. And uh, nice looking uh, write up about uh, their sauces in this little brochure here. But really, really first class on their marketing. Also, check out their website. Uh, you can tell that it's uh, really done very well with the video introducing the sauces and everything. And before I forget, uh, be, by. Um, this offer expires at the end of November this year, November 30th, but you get 10% off your next purchase. So make sure you use the code GETYOUSOME uh, to uh, check out these uh, sauces here and seasonings. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, check out this, uh, this first one here. We're going to start off with the Texas or the uh, Briggs True Houston Hot Sauce. Now, he does have ratings here on all of his uh, hot sauces. He's got three peppers out of five for heat on this one. And uh, on the brochure it says, this sauce is our rendition of the classic table hot sauces. But done right, we spared no expense to make this the handcrafted joy of flavor that only your tongue can appreciate. Take a look at Houston hot sauce and it means business. None of this thin little vinegary stuff here. And on the side of the bottle it says um, that this has the unique Texan flavor that can only be derived from fire roasted chilies and authentic spices. Once you've tried this sauce, you'll know what real flavor with a kick is all about. Enjoy it on your favorite foods from tacos to sushi. And when you're feeling uh, like a chef, add it to your dish to give it a little more flavor than fire. We're confident you'll be telling all your friends about this sauce so that they can get them some too. All right. Sodium very low, only 25 milligrams. That's awesome when I uh, see that. First thing I look at when I go to a, a hot sauce that's new is I uh, check out the sodium. That just kind of gives me an idea. Okay, is this going to be gourmet or is this going to be, you know, something different like what you see on the shelves in the supermarket so much? But the ingredients we start off with water, vinegar, salt, cayenne, black pepper, spices, sugar, onion, garlic and xanthan gum. All right, we'll give this a good shake and we'll get into this one. I thought it stopped recording. I had to check for a second. All right, well, check out this one. You can really see the spices in this. Looks like it's got some uh, possibly seeds in there. You can see the black pepper, but you can really see the spice spices floating around him here. So it's that type of sauce where you really can see the spice. It's got a nice, deep, dark, rich color on it. No flow restrictor. So here we go. Let's check out the aroma. Spiciness, black pepper, chili powder. I believe I'm picking up on some chili powder. Cumin. <clears throat> wow, not, not a uh, vinegary smelling sauce at all. A little bit of the garlic, but wow, what you're really smelling is the spices. Water and vinegar at their top, salt, cayenne, black pepper, spices, sugar, onion, garlic. All right, well, let's go ahead and get this one on a spoon. 
Love the consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. And this is the type of hot sauce where you don't need the flow restrictor on here. You pour it out, it's going to be just fine. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Now what I notice about this sauce, and I could tell because of seeing it in here, it's got a grittiness to it, so if you don't like that grittiness as far as the spices go, if you like something more well blended, then you might not like this because you're getting little bits and pieces of the spices in here, but it's not salty at all. It's not too sweet. You've got a nice spicy richness, um, a little bit of the cayenne peppers. It's not vinegary at all. Let me get a little bit more of this. Yeah, this is, this is a type of sauce where the spices, you're going to, um, it's like the seasoning mix. You're going to see it. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel it on your tongue. You're going to taste it. So that's what's different about it. But it's got a great flavor on it. Once again, a uh, perfect balance of um, a sweetness and uh, the saltiness. It's just perfect. Not too salty at all. But I think this would be good on a lot of different things. But I'm going to check this out on some pizza today. So here we go. Check this out. Here we go. Mmm. <clears throat> Good. I can smell a little bit more of the vinegar now. Um. This is unique, um, different um, flavor. Let me see. On flavor, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 for flavor. I think I like the flavor of it, but I think um, I, I don't think I care too much for the, uh, the, the, the way the spices are in here like that. You can kind of feel them and see them too much. Um, I don't know. So it's got that gritty texture to it, but it's got a good flavor on it. It is not hot at all. Um, so, once again, a 7 out of 10 for flavor. It's definitely better than average, that's for sure. Um, but on heat, just a mild spiciness. I'm just going to have to give it a 2 out of 10 for heat on Briggs True, or, yeah, Houston Hot Sauce. I think this would really be good <clears throat> in cooking, in other, uh, you know, soups, stews, <coughs> excuse me, chilies, um, Things like that. I think it'd be good as a table sauce on eggs as well. It's very good on the pizza. Um, it just doesn't wow me, but it is pretty good. Uh, so once again, the Briggs True Houston Hot Sauce. Make sure you check them out on Facebook at Briggs True. And the website simply is, make sure I get it right here, is BriggsTrue.com. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. And until the next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.